Some of the changes are obvious when you first walk up to the Orange County Courthouse in Orlando. Stanchions with ribbons directing people to the front door. When you get to the front door, you can't even go in until they make sure that you've got a mask on. Of course, they're going to do a temperature check. And what's the temperature? 97.4. So I can go in. Yes, sir. All right, thanks. Floor markers are everywhere, showing you which direction to walk and where to stand six feet apart. Starting this week, the Passport and Marriage License Office has reopened. Two key services that, by law, require you to appear in person, and for the protection of workers and patrons, plexiglass barriers have been installed to guard against the spread of coronavirus. They're really taking care of every single detail so we don't get more contaminated, we be safety. So that's really good. And then the employees are on the other side, and they're also wearing masks as well. Clerk Tiffany Moore Russell showed me the self help center, which has also reopened and provides assistance for small claims, evictions, and family law. She reminds us many services, like traffic cases, can still be handled online. So I think this will be the new normal. And so we're trying to put things in place to encourage the public to use technology to conduct business with us. And for those things, they have to come here. That limited population should be small. It doesn't get any smaller than a wedding in front of the clerk while wearing masks. Carlos Ortiz appreciates rules for his protection, but isn't sure he wants this to be permanent. I don't know, depending how everything goes. But I think this is OK. What may impede traffic flow as courthouse business ramps up? The restriction allowing just four people at a time on elevators. In Orlando, Greg Fox, West 2 News. Except for essential hearings, most courtrooms still remain closed. Jury trials are set to resume in July.